Hi everyone! So I've had a couple of requests for some hips and hamstring stretches. So what I want you to do to start off with this one, I want you to grab a strap or something that resembles a strap. So it can be a belt or it can be a long scarf or it can even be a jumper that you hold on to the ends of the arms of as we stretch out the legs. So you're going to start off lying down on the back, bend up both knees, left foot stays on the ground, right knee comes into chest. Then you're going to wrap your strap around the ball of the right foot and extend the right leg away. So everyone's hamstrings are different, so don't worry about the angle that my leg is at. Just think about how it feels in the back of your leg. So you can have the knee slightly bent. So you're going to stretch the leg until you feel a stretch at the back of your leg into your hamstrings. Keep hold of the strap with your hands. What I like to do is wrap the strap around the back of my hand and then into my palm. So there's not a lot of effort in my arms. I can just sort of let them hang and all the effort is just in the hands to keep the grip of the strap. Then you're going to slightly press your foot into the strap. This helps to activate the backs of your legs. So we're going to breathe here for three breaths. Really still pushing into the strap with your right foot. Then you're going to release the effort from that your leg, so no more pushing into the strap. And see if you can draw that right leg just a little bit closer. And we're going to do that twice more. Press your foot into the strap. Three breaths. So you're really resisting with the hands and the arms. See if you can relax your shoulders. Then you're going to release that push and see if you can draw the leg just a little bit closer. Once more like that, press the foot into the strap. and then release the effort. And maybe that leg will come just a little bit closer. And then you're gonna release it away. We're gonna switch legs. Left knee comes into chest, wrap the strap around the ball of the left foot. Extend the leg away, so remember yours might be a different angle to mine. Wrap the strap once around the back of your hands, bring the strap into the palm. Then you're gonna press then let the foot into the strap. Three breaths. Keep the effort. And then you're going to release that effort and draw the strap a little bit closer. And press the foot into the strap, three breaths. See if you can relax your shoulders and your jaw. Relax the effort, draw the leg just a little bit closer. And then we're going to hold for three breaths with the foot pressing into the strap. And then see if you can draw that leg just a little bit closer and then release it away. Good. Coming onto your seat now, so just make your way up to seated however feels comfortable. We're going to go for a hip stretch now, so you're going to come to cross-legged and you're going to walk the hands forwards and let your head drop forwards. Let your chin drop down to your chest. 
This is a stretch for the outer right hip. If you don't feel this stretch, come back out. I'll show you a different variation. You're gonna walk your feet underneath your knees so that there's a little bit more rotation through the hips and you can feel a deeper stretch into the outer hip of the right side. If that doesn't make get it for you either, you're gonna take your right ankle on top of your left leg, but make sure your feet stay flexed so you're protecting your knees. Then you're gonna let your torso fold forwards. And we're gonna hold here for another three breaths. Let's bring that back and we're gonna swap, swap legs left leg in front either just regular cross-legged if that's enough of a stretch for you as you fold forwards or taking the ankles underneath the knees and taking a stretch like that or if that's not enough for you left ankle on top of right knee keeping the feet flexed walk the hands forwards and holding here for three breaths Three breaths is around 30 seconds, so that's as long as it takes to get re really deeply into the stretch. And walking yourself back up. So you're going to go for a low lunge now. So you're going to take your right leg forwards. You make sure your right knee is directly on top of your right ankle. So if you need to, slightly wiggle that left leg back a little. If you need padding for your knee, grab some padding to make sure you're feeling comfortable. Bring your hands together, interlace your fingers and press into your right thigh. That just helps to give you some stability. So we're keeping the core strong. We're keeping the legs slightly active as we let the hips sink down, so we get this stretch into the front of the left hip. Three breaths. Lovely. We're going to take the hands to the floor and come up onto fingertips. Then you're going to draw your pelvis back. So your leg is going to start to lengthen and then I want you to flex your right toes. You might stay with the knee quite bent if you already start to feel this or you can start to lengthen your leg. So as soon as your spine starts to do this, that's where you've gone too far. So I want you to try to keep your spine long, almost imagining that you're trying to keep your belly to your thigh and just lengthening up the right leg. So remember you might be here or you might be here. Once you've found a position where you feel the stretch at the back of the leg, we're gonna hold. And then we're going to slowly bring the body back forwards. Take your hands to the inside of your right foot. Shuffle your right foot over slightly. And then just take your hands so they're back right directly underneath your shoulders. So this is a slightly more open variation of that lunge that we did before. You've got the option to stay here. Or you can take your right hand to the inner right thigh. Come onto the blade of your right foot and come and open your right knee out to the side. This might be feeling like a stretch in your outer hip, or it might be feeling like a stretch for the inner right thigh, depending on where you're feeling tight. Holding here.
We're gonna bring that right knee back in. We're just gonna switch legs. So right leg is gonna go back to join the left, and the left leg is gonna come forwards to the middle of, or around the middle of the mat. So we're gonna come into that low lunge position again. So just make sure when you're lunging forward, your left knee is directly over your left ankle. So if you need to, you can shuffle that right knee back just slightly, pad yourself up so you're feeling comfortable. Hands come together, interlace fingers, press down through the left leg, let your hips sink down. Still slight energy through the legs, but this feeling of melting and getting a stretch into the front of the right hip. Two more breaths. We're gonna take the hands down to the floor. Come onto fingertips again. And then you're gonna send your pelvis back. The leg is gonna lengthen and you're gonna flex your left toes. So this might be your variation of a lengthened leg. We might start to lengthen the leg just a little more and fold forwards. Again, thinking about the curvature of the spine, making sure it stays long instead of being here. Feeling the stretch in the back of the left leg. Keeping your left toes flexed. It's really important here to keep the muscles on as you stretch for these, for this variation of stretching. And then we're gonna come forwards, bending to your left knee. Walk your left foot over to the left side of the mat. So again, walking your hands now so they're underneath your shoulders, either holding here or taking your left hand onto the inner left thigh, coming onto the blade of the left foot and opening the left knee out to the side, making sure your left foot is flexed and breathing here. bringing that left knee back in. Sending your left knee to join the right. We're gonna tuck the toes, walk the hands back, then lengthen your legs until your heels can come to the ground. You're gonna take a forward fold, just let your torso dangle for a moment. Then you're gonna take your first two fingers and hook them around your big toes. So your knees might be quite bent to get down to your toes. Then you're gonna to start to draw your chest forwards keeping the fingers around the toes, and then bring the weight onto the balls of your feet, almost like you're trying to squash your fingers with your toes. Then you're gonna let your legs start to lengthen. So they might lengthen all the way, or they might still have a deep bend. Don't worry what your pose looks like, just think about what it feels like. Take another deep breath in here. And then with the exhale, you're gonna draw your belly towards your thighs and fold forwards. Three breaths in. Next inhale, you're going to lengthen. You're gonna take the hands back forwards, bend your knees, take your knees to as wide as your mat. If you have sensitive knees, again, or feet, take a blanket underneath for some padding. Send your pelvis down to your heels and reach your fingertips forwards to come into a wide-legged child's pose. No effort here, so we're relaxing and coming to the end of the session. Let your pelvis sink back, your fingers slide forwards. and feel all the tension from your hips drain away.
and you're done bringing yourself back up thank you guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope you feel a bit more spacious in your hips and your hamstrings if you like our videos please subscribe there's a link down here or there's one over here and if you like our videos even more and you want to get more content there's a link down below in the description to become a member and get loads more videos loads more content and some live stream classes thank you everyone see you here again soon